Former Oath Keepers member Jason Van Tatenhove sounded the alarm on CNN Monday that ProMAGA members of Congress are actively trying to promote violence ahead of former President Donald Trump's arraignment. Trump, who is charged with 37 federal crimes including violations of the Espionage Act for repeatedly trying to stop federal agents from retaking boxes of highly classified national defense information from his Mar-a-Lago Country Club, is scheduled to appear in court in Miami on Tuesday, and law enforcement is preparing for a huge showing of anger from Trump supporters, including the potential for violence. I mentioned Congressman Andy Biggs, but I wanted to give you another Republican congressman, Clay Higgins, tweeting another tweet that some have seen as a not very subtle, in this case, call to action, referring to Trump as our POTUS, said anchor Aaron Burnett. That stands for Real President of the United States. Now, I just want to note that Congressman Higgins is an Army veteran and he's using military-style language, telling Trump supporters to, quote, buckle up. You hear Andy Biggs talking about war and an eye for an eye. Specifically, Burnett asked, it's not just what message does that say. Does the fact that it is coming from elected representatives in any way open the door even wider or allow and encourage violence even more? Van Tatenhove, who saw up close the violent actions of the far-right Oath Keepers militia, was unequivocal, absolutely. This was part of the playbook that Oath Keepers leader, Stuart Rhodes employed with working with local officials, grooming people to run for local office, said Van Tatenhove because it gives a sense of legitimacy and authority to some of the more violent rhetoric and extremist views out there. And these words are more dangerous than bringing weapons to something, because they inspire, they go on. It's hard to counteract words calling for violent action. It's much harder to defend against that than it is to harden up a building like a federal courthouse. No one has really been held accountable, Van Tatenhove added. We've seen this type of rhetoric coming up to January 6. We're just now beginning to see some sort of legal account being held. But, largely, politicians that have been using this rhetoric to get elected and increase their following and whatnot, they really haven't been held to account for the actions that they are inspiring.